Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how disgustingly easy it is to get the crafter relics that were introduced in Shadowbringers expansion. This video was requested by Lord Zavius as part of his Patreon tier perk and if you know him, you know he is incredibly particular and efficient so this video will be very very much the same. See timestamps below if you're using this as a reference guide. These are only for glamour at this point but if it's any consolation these are the only shiny relic weapons we have so far so you will look pretty cool crafting with these in the future. It would be a huge help to like and comment as it really helps the video for the almighty YouTube algorithm and showing your support and appreciation for what I do and the work I put in this video. The first thing you need to do is have your crafters at level 90. This is integral as we can use our trained eye ability that instantly completes the quality section of crafts that are 10 levels below us. All of the steps between 1 and 4 are level 80 crafts so you need to be able to use trained eye. You also need to unlock the firmament if you haven't already. Once you have it unlocked, you'll see a blue quest near the entrance of the firmament called Mislaid Plant. This is our quest maker to begin the crafting relics quest. They will give you a coffer to open on whichever job you want to start with. Pick any of the crafters as this method is the same for all and it doesn't matter where you start. After that, you can purchase the rest of the prototypes from this vendor located inside the Sky Still factory. These will allow you to start the quest for each specific job. Let's go over gear and items required. Now, I purposely bought all fresh 590 gear and weapons for crafters and 560 accessories as that's all we have at this point. If you're watching this in the future, it only gets easier after that and none of my gear has any melding. Steps 1 through 4 will not require any materia melds, food, or syrups. Step 5 does, but we will cover that when we get there. Steps 1 through 4 are a really quick easy macro, while step 5 can also be macroed, but only if you follow this guide to a T or you're up to date on your crafting and melding gear for current biz or also known as best in slot. The only reason that I'm doing it with fresh basic gear is so that everyone can be inclusive and get this as soon as they hit level 90 with their crafters. This will also take around about an hour or a little more for each crafting relic, which is a huge drop from the initial five or six hours it took for one. So you're really making out here for some awesome glamours for very little effort. Now let's talk about crafting materials needed. We'll be using the white scripts materials located at any script vendor under the level 80 materials tab. Here you will see oddly specific materials and all of these are needed to complete the relics. I initially was going to create this on Garland Tools, but they have misrepresenting numbers here on scripts. It says, for example, 50 scripts for an oddly petrified log on Garland Tools, but in game it only shows us 25 scripts. I ended up just making a spreadsheet of materials needed in order for you to access that and use it as a reference guide in the future. The goal is basically is you can look at that spreadsheet and stand in front of the market board and literally just purchase every item you need for all eight crafters. Yes, it can be a little expensive, but honestly, a lot of the items are super cheap now because it's been over a year since these have come out. If you didn't do it this way, basically all eight crafter relics will need about 20,000 white scripts for all necessary oddly specific materials. Save yourself the insanity of trying to get that many white scripts and just purchase them. You can use a Universalis app that you can find on the internet which is not a mod, it's just reported by players and find the cheapest materials on different data centers so then you can save money. So each step requires two sets of materials. One is the oddly specific materials that we talked about. The second set of materials might be a little bit more of a hassle to get. These are just normal out world materials. Carpenter, for example, in step one, you need 20 oddly specific material and 20 white ash logs. I happen to have those and you may too if you've been crafting for any sort of amount of time. If you don't, then you can purchase these normal crafting materials on the market board, which again, I still recommend instead of gathering yourself because you can be saving yourself a lot of time. Now that we've covered the materials, let's talk about my method. I like to collect every single piece of material for all eight crafter relics up front and then craft them all at once. It's just way more efficient time-wise than just doing one at a time. Going back, collecting all the materials and then doing the next one. 
Collecting all the materials is the hardest part of the whole process. Once you complete the shopping list, it's basically just macro crafting from here on out. Your shopping list will be located on the spreadsheet to which you can reference. For each crafter relic, a quick guideline for the oddly specific items. You will need 50 for the first oddly specific item, step one and two. So for carpenter, that's oddly specific petrified log. You'll need 39 of the second oddly specific item for step three and four. Again, for carpenter, that is oddly specific cedar log. And you will need 20 of the oddly delicate item for step five. This is true for every single crafter. So there's your guideline for the oddly specific materials. Let's go over step one and step two. I will be using Carpenter as an example, and yes, I am redoing the crafting relic just for this video. Yes, I am insane. Here is the macro that we'll be using for the entirety of steps one through four. Trained eye, groundwork, groundwork. Now, when I started this video, I actually didn't think you can use trained eye, but since these are not master recipes, we can actually use this and we'll be able to complete these lickety split. Now at this point, you're essentially just macro hitting button. Once you complete step one, you will unequip your sky steel weapon. Turn that in with your 25 petrified orbs to get the plus one sky steel augmentation weapon. Now you will re-equip and go on to step two, which again is the same exact macro. Once you have made 30 of the oddly specified shafts, you will unequip the weapon and turn the weapon and the oddly specified shafts in for your first purple relic weapon, which is the Dragon Sung Saw. Congratulations, you just complete step one and step two in probably 15 minutes or less. Moving on to step three and step four. Now here you'll need to equip your Dragon Sung Saw or related crafter relic and we'll need 19 crafter gobby goos. Now this is a collectible which changes nothing for our grind. If we need 19 carpenter gobby goos, we can get five per turn in. We need 18 oddly specified cedar lumber turn ins because 90 divided by five is 18. Now you will always get max collectability here on this because the ability and macro with trained eye still works. So we are still completing steps three and four with a touch of a button. Once you complete 18 of the oddly specific cedar lumbers, we will turn those in for our 90 carpenters gobby goo. With this, we will unequip the saw and turn that in with our 90 carpenter gobby goo in order to get the augmented dragon sung saw. Last super easy step is step four, which is re-equip the new saw, and now you'll need 105 highly viscous gobby goose for Carpenter. Again, you can get five per max collectability, which is guaranteed with our macro, which means we'll need 21 oddly specified cedar lumbers, because 105 divided by five is 21. Once you macro all of 21, you will turn them in with your saw and get the sky sung saw. Congratulations, step three and four are done. You should complete these steps one through four in under about 30 minutes. Now we're on to step five, which actually will send you to the firmament. So grab the quest and let's talk about what you need now. Step five is an expert recipe and it will require some minor melding, food and syrups. Now, if you are fully up to date on melding, then you'll not have to worry for anything other than making sure to have around 662 CP for the macro that we are going to use. Because I'm using base gear, I'm gonna be using the HQ Calamari Rapini and Cunning Craftsman Syrup for the extra CP. Now let's talk about basic melds that are obtainable for everyone. If you followed my guide, you will need to make sure to have a minimum stat of 3200 control at this point for step five. You will also need that CP stat I mentioned earlier of 662 to 668. Here is all of my gear. I basically just melded CP everywhere I could, CP10 and CP3, and then melded the rest with control 18. This is super easy to do and to obtain these by just purchasing on the market board, or you probably already have a stash of some of these if you've been crafting. I have showed you my melds so you can pause the video and copy them if you're a beginner crafter, but most won't have the problem. I'm just showing you from a bare minimum perspective. Now let's talk about the macro. This is a variation macro of team craft by Dr. Momo, I believe. I think it's his name. I couldn't find his name on the macro, but I wanted to do a shout out. So if anyone knows him, let them know so I can thank them. I will have it listed down in the description box as well as linked to the team craft page so you can copy it for yourself. If you follow these stats and the CP, you will be able to macro the entirety of step five and do no expert crafting at all. If you want a guide on expert crafting and its breakdown, 
then you can let me know and I'll make a separate video for that. Now for step five, you will need 60 oddly delicate saw parts for Carpenter, which you can obtain three for the max collectability turn in. This means we need to make 20 oddly delicate pine lumber. Popping your food, syrup, and having the stats, you will have a 100% guaranteed collectability, which is 1230 or higher. I did this seven times on quick synthesis and 20 times for the actual synthesis for testing and hit the collectability mark every single time. The only time you will not hit the collectability rating is your crafting syrup expired or your food ran out and you start the craft without the buffs. Again, if you're fully melded, as long as you have the CP, you will be way fine. Once you make all 20 oddly delicate pine lumbers, you will turn those in for the oddly delicate saw parts. Once you have the 60 turn ins and you unequipped your saw, you'll be able to turn all of that in for your first completed crafting relics. Congrats. Step one and four should take about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how efficient you are and how much you're paying attention. Step five should probably take around 30 to 45 minutes. Again, just depending on how much you're paying attention as it just is a really long macro. You really want to make sure that you have the minimum stats. You don't want to mess up on step five because the oddly delicate materials can be really expensive if you have to pick up another. So I would have some white scripts on hand just in case a buff drops and you have to pick up an extra few. Now, I really hope this lays out just how freaking easy it is to get these crafter relics. And if you got time in game, you really should go after them for super awesome glamour weapons for each crafting class. I got these crafting relics originally when they first came out and it took me about four to five days to get all eight of them where you can probably get all eight of them in about five or six hours. I want to thank Lord Zobvious for his Patreon support and just say how amazing and supportive he's been throughout this entire journey. I'm just really blessed to be surrounded by so many great people who really want to see me succeed and shine in the YouTube Final Fantasy community. If you want more in-depth guides, you can find all those in my description box located under the playlist section. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.